Hey guys, this is Joran Condell from the Pixellab.net for MotionWorks. Today I want to talk to you about shadows and a little technique that will help you make your composites more realistic. So say you want to take these 3D speakers and composite them in a 2D scene. If you bring those in and try to place them on a background, uh, so they're kind of sitting there, you'll notice that the first thing is we don't have any shadows and they look terrible, right? So I have a plane in here. And if we go ahead and render, you can see what I'm talking about. So as you can see, I have this nice shadow here, which kind of anchors these onto the ground. Uh, but the thing is, I can't actually bring this floor in. I need an alpha channel so that we can composite that other background in. But I still want this shadow. So how are we going to do that? All right, so I found this cool plugin. It's kind of buried in a forum. Um, I'll give you a link for it. And what it is is a plugin that you'll download and you'll put it in your plugins folder. After you uh, put in your plugins folder and restart Cinema, you're going to go to plugins and you're going to drop it down and you're going to be like, it's not in here, must have loaded wrong, whatever. Don't worry about it because it's not in the plugins folder. All right, so we are going to put this on the floor plane actually. So we'll make a new material, open that up, and disable all the check marks and then check on alpha. This is um, the important part right here. In the texture, on the bottom of your dropdown, there's Shadow Catcher. That's the plugin we just installed. So go ahead and click that. Now, one thing you really need to remember is you need to invert it. Make sure to check Invert. Then it will look transparent. What we're going to do is drag that onto our floor. Now if we render, it's going to look like there is nothing there, right? But if we uh, do a full render, and what you'll notice is that it's actually scanning all the areas of the image, even the ones that are black. So that tells you that something's going on right there. So if we open up After Effects, we'll go ahead and reload this one. And instantly, you can see you got your shadows, which is amazing, right? So if we go ahead and solo this, you're getting your shadows. There's, they're a little bit transparent based on how transparent your shadow is in Cinema 4D. And uh, yeah, I mean, instantly it already feels like it's more in the scene, right? So that's the shadow catcher, guys. I hope that you found that useful. I can't tell you how many times this has saved me in the past. Uh, just bring, being able to bring in your shadow with the object is such a time saver. There are some other workarounds, but I mean, why would you do that if you can have the shadow catcher, right? If you want some more training and free resources, please check out my website at thepixellab.net. Thanks, guys, and I look forward to talking to you again really soon. Bye, everybody.